So I'm going to go to preferences. And here is where you route all of your native access, all of your libraries, your contact, complete output libraries to your external hard drive. So as you can see, I can just show you first of all. So my download location, it's going to my external. My application location is of course on my computer. And my content location is also going to this same folder, okay? So I'm just gonna show you, okay? So my download location, what I do and what I did you know, of course, you go to browse because the folder is going to all go on your laptop or desktop. You don't want that because you have such large libraries and it can take up a lot of space unless you have like a big two terabyte laptop. But I'm going to go here to download location. I'm going to show you where I download the sounds to. I'm going to go to browse and then I'm going to go to my external, which is called Easy Store. And what I did was create a new folder. I literally pressed users. I mean, I literally typed users shared. I literally did that. All right. And then it created a folder called users shared. All right. You have to type in users shared on your laptop. All right. And it'll read it. It doesn't take anything, you know, deep. All right. So for my application location, I'm going to go to browse. And then you literally just push applications. And this is where all of your apps, you know, for your computer go. All right, so you literally put all your apps there. All right, so you push your application. Boom. All right, then content location. Go back there, and I, I went to user share, right? And that's it. And they downloaded here. Make sure your content location is set because I had to go back and erase everything off my computer because I had my content location going to user shared, but it was going to user shared on my hard drive. If it goes on your hard drive, the content is going to download to your computer, but your download location will be on your external. All right. So boom. So I'll show you how it works. All right. So then when you go to your external, is my external. I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to my external hard drive, easy store. And then here are all my folders. So as you can see the user share, but I'm going to put mine in the icon view. All right. So boom. So user share and library. These two are for native access. So your content location information goes to a folder called library. It's going to create a folder called library. All right. So this is my user share. So I'm going to show you. See, this is all of my information for all of my libraries. All right. Samples, drums, claps. Here's all the claps. All right. All right, boom. But I'm going to put it back like that. I know. I know. I know. All right. All right, so if I go to Native Access, right, right now I'm downloading Una Corda, 8 gigabytes. Okay. So let me go back to my finder. All right, so let me go down to Una Corda because you can see it downloading into your folder in real time. So Una Corda, you can see it's downloading. All right, you see it's 823, 823 was 825 now, but 825 now. All right, so it downloads there. And then that's you know where everything is downloaded so then if you go to library this is where all the plist files go the dot booms you can see everything for all of the expansions and this is how you know it's on your computer if it doesn't go here then it's not really i mean excuse me if it doesn't go here it's not on your hard drive and this is also how you delete it but if you delete something from here if you say if i was to delete this delete this it will pop up in my native access as needing to be downloaded. It'll say it's not installed and I have to redownload it because I don't have the PLIST file. Alrighty. But that's that, okay? And voila. We have all of our libraries installed. And let's check native instruments. All right, so it's all here in Native Instruments. All right, so it's just time to create.